to everyone in this video this is lecture number 55 already 54 lectures covered to solve the supplementary problem of this book vector analysis by Emart Spigel you know this book is very important for physics honors as well for mathematics honors and also important for IIT jam examination also that's why we decide to solve the supplementary problem of this book in this video we want to solve the supplementary problem 6.43 to 6.45 of chapter 6 which consists divergence stokes and related integral theorem mainly gains theorem so let's start with question 6.43 the question says find the area bounded by one arc of the cycloid whose it parametric equation is x equal to a theta minus sin theta and y equals to a 1 minus cos theta okay where a greater than 0 and positive x axis so at first we need to know about the cycloid what is cycloid cycloid is the path due to due to uh, rotation of circle on a line that's been considered this is a line uh, take as x axis and this is a circle this circle rotate on this line so if you take uh, this point this is a point so this point if the circle rotates this point the uh, the uh, locus of this point will be like that is this clear if this circle is rotate if this circle is rotate and that point the point is uh, the locus of this point will be like that clear so this is the cycloid we need to find out the area under this curve of one arc that's mean it will be re repeated by we need to find out one arc so if this x equals to 0 what will be the value of x equal to here you know if the this circle is completed a total completion then it will be come again again here also so this point will be reach here when the uh, the covered the path that is the periphery of this circle which will be 2 pi a this is the periphery of this circle clear so the area of this curve you know area under the curve if we take x axis this will be y and this is the dx so area will be y dx and if we integrate then we will get total area so area can be area area can be written as area can be written as integration y dx so what will be the value of y here the value of y is uh, a 1 minus cos x cos theta cos theta and what is the value of dx dx is a 1 minus cos theta d theta clear what is the limit of theta if you put x equal to 2 pi a what is the limit of theta so the equation is x equals to a theta minus sin theta right so if you put x equal to 2 pi a equals to a theta minus sin theta so a, a cancel out 2 pi x equals to theta minus sin theta this equation hold if if theta equals to 2 pi if theta equals to 2 pi sin 2 pi is 0 uh, 2 pi equals to 2 pi this will be hold so you can write the limit of theta will be 0 to 2 pi a a a becomes a square 1 minus cos theta the whole square that is 1 minus 2 cos theta 2 cos theta plus cos square theta d theta so this is nothing but that is the a square we take here 2 here to put the 2 minus 4 cos theta 2 cos square theta is 1 plus cos 2 theta right cos 2 theta so integrate this a square by 2 this 2 and 1 becomes 3 theta minus 4 sin theta plus sin 2 theta by 2 0 to 2 pi if we put the value sin 2 pi is 0 sin 0 0 sin 4 pi is 0 sin 0 0 so this two term is 0 just we get the term here that is a square by 2 and 3 theta theta is 2 pi so you will get 3 pi 3 pi square right 3 pi square is the 
answer of this question i think clear if there is any doubt you must do, comment in the comment box and for previous solution you must go to the previous lecture the description will be given in the the link will be given in this description box uh, you can watch or you can see this video also so let's go to the next question 6.44 which says find the area bounded by the hypercycloid of the equation so what will be the hypercycloid what will be the hypercycloid hypercycloid is nothing but hypercycloid what is the hypercycloid hypercycloid if, if if this is a big circle and a small circle rotate this small circle rotate within big circle small circle small circle circle rotate rotate within within large surface large surface within large surface small surface rotate within large surface is the hypercycloid this is known as the hypercycloid okay and the curve will be so as like that this is the nature of the curve of a hypercycloid right this is the x-axis this is the y-axis this is the hyper cycloid this is the hyper cycloid whose equation is like that is to the to the 3 y to the to the 3 equal to a to the power 2 y 3 here the he, he, parametric equation will be given so for, for area for to finding the area in the spiral book you know the area of the closed curve area of the closed curve will be half cyclic integral x dy minus y dx this is given in this spiral book in, in details so i do not waste time by repeating the, uh, to evaluate this formula if you don't understand from this book you all may comment in the comment box okay so just put the value what is the value of x x is a cos q theta what is the value of dy so here you can write dy is a 3 sin square theta cos theta d theta and the value of dx is nothing but 3 a cos square theta there is a minus sin theta d theta sin theta d theta clear so just put here dy is a 3 sin square theta cos theta minus y y is a sin q theta and dx d is a minus so this minus will become plus 3 a cos square theta sin theta whole into d theta so you get the a square as a common and by 2 and 3 also common so you get uh, sin to the power uh, sin square theta cos to the power 4 theta plus sin to the power 4 theta cos square theta d theta if you take common as a sin square theta and cos square theta you will get you will be get cos square theta plus sin square theta will be 1 so you get sin square theta cos square theta d theta right so if you take there is a 2 sin theta cos theta then you need to put here 4 that is 8 integral 2 sin theta cos theta so this will become sin square 2 theta so if we take 2 here so this becomes 16 2 sin square 2 theta means cos 4 theta 1 plus cos 4 theta d theta now integrate 3 a square by 16 integration of 1 is theta integration of cos 4 theta is sin 4 theta by 4 0 to and what will be the limit 0 to 2 pi total limit 0 to 2 pi so this is the 3 a square by 16 2 pi and sin 8 pi is 0 sin 0 is 0 so this become 3 pi a square by 
8. So, in case of cycloid, this will become 3 pi a square, and in case of hypercycloid, this is become 3 pi a square by 8. Go to the next question. 6.45 says, so that the polar coordinate rho phi, the expression become will be like that. So, if this is a two dimensional coordinate, this is x axis and this is the y axis, any point on this coordinate system can be written as p x y or in the polar coordinate, if this is rho phi, that means this is the rho, right? And the phi is here. So, you can say this x is nothing but x is nothing but rho cos phi and the y will be nothing but y will be nothing but rho sin phi simple so you put here x dy minus y dx so what is the value of x this is the x a rho cos phi and dy dy if the derivative that is rho cos phi d phi minus y is rho sin phi and dx will be minus rho cos phi d phi. So, this is rho square cos square phi minus minus plus rho square sin square phi that into d phi that into d phi. So, sin square plus cos square phi is 1. So, this will become rho square d phi. Hence proved. Hence proved. Right. Here, interpret this interpret this equation okay so for in in polar coordinate system in case of polar coordinate system in 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 case of polar coordinate system you can see this is a point rho phi okay so if you uh, increase along the rho axis this will be d rho and along the theta if this is the d phi so this become rho d phi so the elementary area in the elementary area elementary elementary area in polar coordinate elementary area in polar coordinate will be coordinate will be this portion that is the d rho and this is the rho d phi so this is rho d phi into d rho okay so this is rho d rho d phi d rho and this is d phi now if you integrate the total area total area will be like that this is a surface integral if we integrate the rho from 0 to rho this become rho square by 2 d phi integration rho square by 2 d phi so you get rho square d phi so this is half integration rho square d phi so rho square d phi is nothing but this is the half integration x dy minus y dx so this expression this interpret a total area under the curve total area of the curve okay so this expression expressed as a total area of the curve which already we use in the previous problem solution and the proof also given in the spiral book as well okay for any query you must uh, comment in the comment box or you can uh, contact with my whatsapp number or the telegram channel and this is my youtube channel details go to this channel you get the videos which already uploaded and subscribe this channel if you new in this channel and press the bell icon to get the notification when i will upload the new video and share this video to your friends so that she or he also get benefit take care we will meet in the next video as soon as possible thank you